everybody! Welcome to Coffee Time with the Schmitzel French Edition. So you can kind of guess what uh, we're going to be doing here then. Um, so I was wanting to play EU4 and do a Irish edition, but uh, I am not anywhere near good enough at EU4. I'm at least decent at Civ 5 to where I can uh, play it and be uh, not look like... I don't know what I'm doing, but it looked like I, I make some mistakes, and that's fine. I'd rather have that than, uh, wow. They really buffed France in the, no, trust me, they, I, I haven't touched the DLC. That's another thing. I haven't touched the DLC. So we're going to really be able to see us, um, really progress as a civilization under this setup. Uh, so basically, um, what, what am I trying to say here? Yeah, it's France. French edition coffee time. So that means we are going to be playing France. Um, and I, I'm going to be going with King difficulty. I'm good at Emperor difficulty. Trust me. But I haven't played Emperor difficulty on uh, the uh, DLC. So I don't know what, what I would really expect as a uh, person. So you're going to have to excuse me when it comes to that. Um, I, I like doing legendary start too. I just like having the best start possible really. Hmm, what else? Um, we, uh, turned off Raging Barbarians. I did that in one, uh, in one of my test runs just to see what it would do. And it was really fun, uh, but, uh, we don't want to do that in this. But we are going to be playing on Keen Difficulty. It might be too easy, and then I might be really making a mistake there in, uh, this entire Let's Play. Especially with France's new benefit. Let's look at that again. Basically, um, doubled benefit from Great Wonders. Which is crazy to think about because, uh, France used to get, like, extra culture per turn or something stupid like that. Now France is actually kind of overpowered in its own sense. And I, you know me, I like Great Wonders, so we'll be building a few here or there. So, um, that's really good for us. What else? Is, I, I like lowering the city-states so I can give myself more area to work with. Um, that's the only reason why I do that. Because if there's a lot of city-states, it tends to just crowd up the map, and I don't like a crowded map. I like having a little room to expand and really just be allowed to do what I want to do. So we're going to go ahead and stop talking here and really just get started with this Let's Play. So yes, we are drinking um, French vanilla coffee, but this isn't a vanilla run. It's a DLC run, so we're just calling it French edition in the title and everything. So ignore the fact that there's vanilla on the end of my creamer's name. And we'll really just move past that and uh, progress as people and really understand that uh, I'm just trying to make a cool series. Um, something I eventually want to start doing is talking about how uh, the um, the history of cult or coffee. So in France, for say like the history of coffee in France, and I, I did a little research on it, but I didn't do enough to sit here and actually talk about it. So I'm not gonna sit here and just talk about oh yeah, this and that and French this and French that. Wow, that sounded like a I don't know why that sounded weird, but it did. So um, I'm not used to this obviously this whole situation. You're looking at this right now. This is really kind of my blind run of uh, the Brave New World Edition and Gotten Kings. I got both of those DLCs during the Steam sale, along with Batman, and you're seeing me do that currently right now. So I also forgot to see when this damn episode started. I'm going to assume like four minutes ago. So um, we actually need to really start thinking about what would we prefer. I'd like to have Calendar, actually. Um, Calendar is really good. It gets us a stoneworks as well. Um, so we're going to go for calendar than writing because I want to get the great library as soon as possible. I believe that's just a huge benefit we can get early on in the game. So we learned from our last, uh, basically our last run through that the mistake we had was we weren't really trying to partner with uh, enough city states and that really impacted. I know what I'm doing wrong here. We need a scout. We don't need a worker. The scout is really important for uh, this early game type of scenario so um we need to really start working with city states and start uh there's a lot more stuff we can do with city states in this dlc so you'll really see me interact with them a lot more than i have in the past and we won't be so cornered in our world because we'll be able to actually have more than one city now we're not going for one city victory we're just going for a victory we don't know what yet um i like science but i've never done a diplomatic victory either but uh france really seems like a good uh starting Good starting city. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go for the shrine. 
Only because I want to get a religion. I don't know what it's like to have a religion, um, personally in real life. And, oh no, that's not true. I'm not gonna say that. But, uh, Mount, oh, that's really good. We're gonna probably build our second city, like, right there. That's a really good copper. Just everything about that location makes me scream. I want to be there, and I want it to be on top of me, and loving me, holding me tightly, and, uh, really just holding me into another dimension of making love with that, uh, natural wonder. What was I even, I think I was, oh, that's good for us. That's really good for us, because we got another technology to start out with, um, we're not far behind, really. Uh, I know this is only King difficulty, and it's not gonna be too difficult. And maybe you people really just want to see me do a, uh, more challenging run. But I'm not familiar with the DLC to be comfortable enough to sit there and say, Hey, I'm gonna be doing diety. Now, I'm not even comfortable doing diety victories yet. So you're gonna have to excuse me when it comes to that. It's always the freaking, at least they're not too close to it this time. So we can really, uh, get past that. So, how are you? I'm doing pretty great. Um, as you've been ha seeing in my channel, we've been really growing, and um, my commentary is definitely getting better. I'm stuttering a little less, and that's good for me, and that's good for you. Basically, we're in a very good track of progression when it comes to um, our channel, and I'm glad to be seeing that uh, we really are progressing as a channel. I'm glad that we, uh, we're going to make him wait because we don't want him to be dying anytime soon. But I'm glad. I'm just happy and excited for the future of this channel. Because so far, uh, we have shown that we're starting to upload daily now. I know there's a period of a week, actually two weeks, where I wasn't uploading daily. Uh, a week where I literally just didn't upload. And then a week where I was only putting one video per day. But now we're putting like three to four videos a day, except on the weekends. I still am trying to work out a... Uh, Schedule or a game that would be good for the weekend. So I think it's Hotline Miami I really believe that game would be a good weekend type of game. Why does it matter? Why can't I just play it all week because I want to uh, Be playing different games at different times and not having to play that game every freaking day to make sure it's a uh... I Don't know who half these people are Netherlands. Those are two new civilizations. I don't know how they behave I don't know any of that So we got calendar that's good for us um, after we get calendar, uh, we're going to go for, or after we get, a what, what's the, writing, we'll go for the Great Library, we'll try and get that out of the way, and we'll just keep trying to really progress as a, uh, civilization of sorts. I don't want, I don't, actually, does not really matter? I don't know what that means, I think that means they know where my capital is. Yeah, I'm gonna go and do it, because that benefits me, I don't. I don't know the consequences of doing that unless I, I know the consequence of it shows where my capital is that's all I know what an embassy does and I also know that if they're very warmongering they'll know where my capital is and then they'll try and cause some problems so I'd like to send that warrior out to scout some more but uh, right now it looks like we really just need to uh, keep it close to the home for a worker to be safe and not going to die that's what I'd prefer if our worker didn't die I don't know about you but that's what I want So, I've never founded a religion before in this game, so you're going to have to, like I said, excuse me again. I'm really ignorant when it comes to this DLC. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what the meta is. I don't know any of that stuff. I just know that uh, Paris needs to fire on those barbarians so we don't uh, lose anything there. We're just going to keep those barbarians alert in the capital, and they'll be happy there. They'll be safe. They won't take too much damage. They'll just do that, and then we'll get a nice little XP bonus on our people so these people need to be our allies they're cultured so they'll give us extra culture per turn and uh, there's someone found in a pantheon hopefully it's not the pantheon that I want to found or find or found or wow that's a weird way to put that um you are going to take him out yeah that's a uh, look at that already taking out units on your own look at you you're a, you're a champ son Rough terrain. There's another loud motorcycle going by just for you, viewer. Just for you, dear viewer. So we're going to do a production focus, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. And I know it is. Don't get angry at me. We're doing the production focus. Actually, it, do it does pretty much nothing for our civilization right now, which is hilarious. But that's okay. We can get past that and uh, really uh, start moving along with our lives. 
Why did we get calendar? Um, to get the silk. That's right. I believe we also already have animal husbandry, whatever. That allows us to uh, get these cows on our side and make them happy. And uh, really work for us and do the all the wonderful fun stuff that it takes to... I'm just using loaded language. I'm sorry that I, I didn't know where I was going with that. You're going to have to excuse me on that right there. But that's fine. What do we want next? What, what do we need to focus on? We actually need to start looking at our early game and starting to analyze it a little more. We have a, a coastal city. That's good for us. There's a few benefits to that. We could really uh, get some fish, uh, some other stuff. We need masonry. Why do we need masonry? Uh, it's very evident in the fashion that um, right now we have a place where we can do Masonic type of stuff. So uh, we need to take advantage of it and uh, get the technology to be able to take advantage of it. So um, right now... Yeah, we're going to go for that. We want the uh, extra production early on and uh, we want the growth and the two food in the capital. We, we want all those wonderful things, but right now, uh, I don't want to just waste legalism. Or, Yeah, okay, I said it correctly. And uh, also, I want that spedler or settler really early on so we can allow ourselves... I thought I got the... Hmm. That's disappointing. Okay, we can get a uh, production from that. You know what? That's fine. You want to sit there and uh, make my life a little more difficult? I will work around it and uh, really, I don't know, do stuff. That's the best way I can put that. I'm sorry uh, that um, my English language, uh, my English speaking lately is just not the best, and that's okay. Okay, plus one. That's good early game, but really late game that doesn't carry much. Uh, fertility rights is probably what I'm going to go with due to the fact that I really just want a strong foundation. And uh, that's a just a good overall. You never can go wrong with fertility rights is what I've seen from other Let's Players. I have been watching a lot of Let's Plays to try and familiar or familiar, make myself familiar with the DLC, but it hasn't been working too well. I'm like, what are you spies? That that's insanity. Why would you spy? And yeah, you can see why I don't know anything about this game. So we're gonna send our uh, workers, or not our workers, our people out over there to really explore that area. And uh, why did I bring these people back? I should have kept them going in that direction. But oh well, it, it happens sometimes, and um, yeah. I forgot to mention uh, what coffee I'm drinking today. I'm still drinking the Kroger coffee, so it's it's nothing special. But I am drinking French vanilla. Excuse me that there's vanilla or vanilla in it, but uh, you're, you're really going to have to get over that one. Um, you can't really do much about that. Except uh, we could try and tell them to change the... It's French enough, and it's it's... A, clever title you know the coffee time of the schmitzel series it's not like the best idea i've ever had but uh i think it's cute and interesting which is is this let's or is this a channel about cuteness probably not but um yeah okay i believe we can get that silk now because we got mining and then after we get the silk we'll get go get the marble get everything working i believe marble increases great wonder building i'm actually certain that it does so, um, that's good for us when we, uh, start doing that. There's a whole lot of things changed in this. Uh, the combat system feels different. Uh, obviously the technology has been tossed up a little, and we're really just moving in a different type of fashion. Which is fine with me, but, uh, we really need to keep in mind that the game's not the same. And we're only on keen difficulty, so we shouldn't fail too much here. Unless I'm really that bad at this game, which, uh, is a possibility in its own way, and, uh... First city we want to find or found uh, is right around here, probably on top of that hill. Yeah, we're going to go probably on top of that hill and uh, allow our people to get the silk over there, get some of the stone over there, and uh, get the copper and especially the Great Wonder. The Great Wonder is really just the focus that we want to be focusing on, which is a weird way to put that, but uh, yeah, focus on the focus. If you understand my drift there and you catch what I'm saying, it's okay, dog. We got this homie uh i've never spoken such like a white boy in my life but uh you really just were demonstrated with how much of a white boy i can be so um not that there's anything wrong with white boys but um i'm certainly not one i'm just a kid with nerdy glasses and uh likes to wear suits all the time so maybe i should talk about uh my profile picture i was struggling on for a while like 
what type of how should I image myself? And it's very important, and it may seem kind of ridiculous that I put so much thought into this. But it's very important to me that I get bronze working right now. It's very important that I build the correct image, and that I can have an image that people can recognize. Um, so I could have done the northern line route and uh, shaved my head, put some glasses on, and make that my image. No, that's not all he did. That's just who he is. He went with his face. Well, what I did is I like to wear suits a lot, and um, so... I like the idea of a man in a suit, but I wanted something more than that. Um, I didn't want to just do me. I didn't want to copy what Northern Line did. I don't model my entire channel off Northern Line. I, I do respect him as a Let's Player and a business model. I, I respect what he's done as a Let's Player. Um, but uh, I didn't want to copy his style. So what, what I went for was, okay, what do I like? I like cameras. Okay, cameras are cool for me. Cameras are cool for everyone else. We can really get behind the whole camera thing. So I was like, what if I had a camera head? So I looked it up, and there's an image, and uh, it's working so well. I really like the idea of a guy in a suit with a camera head, which is really weird, but that could be my icon. That could be who I am, and it really does describe who I am. I, I enjoy cameras. I actually have a DSLR myself with a nice, fancy Zeiss lens, and uh, it's really interesting to uh, kind of keep that background of my cinematography and photography self, and I transpose that to Let's Play. So that's really uh, interesting, and that's why I chose that image. That's It really identif identifies who I am. So I'm still being myself, but not revealing myself too much, and kind of doing my own sort of style of being myself. Uh, Northern Lion does his face. We got the Great Library, which is wonderful for us. So what are we going to do with the free technology? Uh, we're going to get whatever costs the most in this situation, which it is... We might go for the Colossus next, because that sounds like a really good idea. We're going to go ahead and get that, so we can get, put ourselves in the Classical Era. And now we're just jumped up there. But yeah, that's the idea of my uh, profile picture, my self-image that I'm trying to put on myself, is uh, basically what I'm trying to say here. So you are you can see where I'm coming from. I think it's a good idea. I think it's kind of cool, actually. Uh, it's really interesting. I need uh, to eventually get someone to draw me a nice, fancy... So I can have all the rights to that picture, but uh, right now I don't, so let's not talk about it. So yeah, basically that's the idea that, uh, now I got to finally talk about that on camera, so. I guess that's good for you and good for me. Um, it really allows me to show you what I was going for there, and uh, that's good. I guess. <laughs> In its own weird way. Um. I'm sorry, I, I don't know what else to say about that. That's uh, that's all I have to say about that. That's my Forrest Gump impression for the day, and it's not very good. It's probably never going to get any better. But uh, at least I'm trying. You got to give me some credit there. At least I'm not... Oh, actually, I'm not really trying. I, I just sit there and just talk, and I guess that's not trying. But yeah. It was an interesting idea for a profile picture. And uh, that's definitely going to be my image of the future. I like the idea of it, and uh, Paris has marble. Which is good because I believe it increases our. Uh... Oh wow, we can. I don't know what this means. Yeah, that doesn't. Okay. Anyways, I want to thank you for watching. I'm gonna end the episode around here. Uh, it might be a little short, it might be a little long, but uh, I want to drink some more coffee, and I, I realize drinking coffee on the microphone isn't the best idea. So I want to drink more coffee and get more caffeinated, so we can make this a little more interesting. So you can be like, what the hell is he talking about? He's just high on caffeine. And you're probably right. So, again, I want to thank you for watching. Keep on supporting that Let's Play community. And possibly support me. Show your appreciation with a like, a comment, subscribe. Do whatever you feel that you need to. You don't have to do anything to do. You watching or you just seeing like a minute of this is enough. Maybe you just saw this. Like, wow, this guy just wants likes and comments. No, that's not the thing. It just allows me to grow as a channel. And uh, it's much appreciated on my part. So, again, I want to thank you for watching. And peace out.